Welcome to Flicks and Travels, your go-to channel for the love of movies and wanderlust. Here, we traverse the globe to bring you behind-the-scenes peaks and in-depth explorations of your favorite movie filming locations. Have you ever watched a movie and thought, I want to be there? Welcome to the world of film set design. Designing sets is a blend of art, science, and storytelling. Let's dive in. One of the first decisions is location. Will it be real or constructed? A bustling city or a serene countryside? This choice often depends on the story. One of the great joys as a director is constructing a world. On my films, I try to shoot as much in camera as possible. So, trying to do these things for real. There's nothing more dispiriting than when you turn up to work and there's just a green screen with a couple actors in front of it. It's really, the magic's not there. So, after the place is picked, what comes next? Storyboarding. The visual flow of the movie is sketched out, which helps the set designers visualize what needs to be created. Set designers then spring into action. It starts with sketches, then 3D models, and finally the actual construction. It's all very flat and 2D, so you might have a boat that's moving while the water's moving, and that's literally like our crew members pulling a rope like this <laughs> and putting like little bits of cellophane on the water to make it look like it's twinkling like water. Every detail, from a teacup to a tower, is chosen with care. Scene, and I wanted them to sort of move through that scene and then come out and then move through the next scene. They aren't just sets. They are worlds brought to life. Sometimes, elements are too large or complex to build on the spot. They're created elsewhere and brought in piece by piece. Ever heard of green screens? They allow us to digitally design environments. So that dragon? Yeah, it wasn't really there. One key aspect of Cinesite's work was the environments. For example, this shot was made up of CG buildings, vehicles, and multiple blue screen shots of extras positioned on cards placed in Nuke to bulk out the shot. Once the structure's up, set dressers add the final touches. Every book, lamp, and rug helps tell a deeper story. Film sets can transport us to different corners of the world, or even to entirely new universes. Every time we shot one of those transportation sequences, it was the most satisfying thing to watch. It's not Barbie land, and it's not the real world, and it had six different environments that Ken and Barbie traveled through. We get to camp, and we get to be in space, and we get to be sailors, and all these little things, from space and time to land in Barbie land. None of it's CGI, and it's just presentational as if you were watching a play. And was it using these old silent movies? Movie, film techniques. It looked like a Carl Zeman movie. They make stories believable and captivating. It's like magic. Speaking of magic, ever wondered about the dystopian marvel of Blade Runner 2049? Let's dive into its cinematic brilliance. This sequel demanded a world both familiar and advanced from its 1982 predecessor, a future that felt lived in. Part of the challenge, at least initially, was trying not to be impressed by the environment, that this in some way had to be like the only thing I'd ever known as a character. Instead of solely relying on CGI, the crew masterfully blended miniatures and visual effects to give the city its towering grandeur. Obviously the actors with the physical sets, there were, we did miniatures uh, and weather in New Zealand. Uh, we used all the tricks. It was every trick in the book to, to try and, and try and pull this off. Every nook and cranny was meticulously designed. Neon lights juxtaposed with desolation, reflecting the dichotomy of this future. It was a, I, I, it was a poem. It became this uh, poetic kind of uh, film to, to see in the end. You know, it was, uh, it was uh, uh, extremely happy with, uh, with the journey as hard as it was. Diverse terrains from desolate deserts to rain-drenched urban sprawls encapsulated the movie's emotional spectrum. But beyond sets, it was about characters living in this world. The rain, the dust, the glow, all were made real for authentic reactions. Blade Runner 2049 is a testament to when story design and technology harmonize. 
a visual symphony decades in the making. Film sets are more than just backgrounds. They breathe life into stories, just as the mesmerizing world of Blade Runner 2049 did. Your favorite movie scene? It might have been shot on a set crafted with love and incredible attention to detail. Got a favorite set design? Share in the comments. Dive into the magic. Appreciate the craft. Until next time.